The Fishing News is brought to you by Navionics, Okuma, and Yozori. Hey there, Toby Lipinski for the New England edition of The Fisherman Magazine with this week's web video fishing forecast for New England. Coming to you today from Mohegan Sun Casino in Connecticut. And no, I'm not playing hooky. Instead, just uh, finished setting up for our first show of the season here in New England. It's the CMTA Hartford Boat Show. And as you see, the uh, they've got a brand new location for this year's event. It's being held at the Earth Expo Center here at Mohegan Sun Casino. Access to the show is very easy. As you enter the main grounds of the casino, just follow the signs for the Expo Center and the Winter Garage. Now, parking is free for this event. And the Fisherman Magazine can be found at booth number 334. It's often one of the side um, showrooms or ballrooms here, uh, in the main area with all of the boats. I look forward to seeing you at the show. It starts this Thursday, January 17th, and goes through Sunday, January 20th. Now, as always, we've got some great giveaways this year to go with your new, renewed, and your gift subscriptions. We've got some brand new aluminum pliers to go with the one year. Uh, we've also got the ever popular dry bags. Once again, those are always a great, uh, great giveaway. Everybody's always excited to see those. We've also got a really cool special promo going with our friends over at Unsinkable Polarized Sunglasses. So you can see right here, all you got to do is fill out one of these cards simple little card we're gonna have at all of the shows uh, put your name email address and you get entered in a chance to win one of three free pairs of these sunglasses every single show that we attend we're gonna give away three pairs of it so be sure to stop by uh, find us booth number 334 this Thursday through Sunday for not only your shot to uh, get these sunglasses but obviously to sign up for new renewed or gift subscription to the Fisherman magazine all right, let's see, moving along fishing-wise this week. Uh, despite this cold snap that we've entered into here uh, the last couple of days, uh, we've got some more fishing to talk about. The cod boats have finally been able to string together a few trips beginning with the weekend. And, uh, unfortunately, as expected, it took a little while to get on the bite once um, once they got out there, but some fish to almost about 20 pounds or so were overhorded, as well as good catches of ling, haddock, pollock, and uh, cutter. Uh, while no one reported great fishing, unfortunately, pretty much all the boats got into a, a bite here and there with enough fish boated to keep patrons happy they chose to spend a day offshore as opposed to back home dreaming about fishing. Um, I did hear a lot of throwback black sea bass and porgies on the grounds as well but unfortunately as you know season for those both closed January 1st so they are uh, ineligible for harvest but the other fish more than made up for it so as long as we get some more consistent uh, weather here the boats get out a little bit more often they're gonna be able to stay on that bite definitely worth a look for the weekend. Uh, let's see, that earlier noted cold snap has done wonders for ice fishermen too, with reports coming across a much wider range of southern New England since since uh, Sunday or so, finally. Uh, unfortunately, there's by no means, you know, expansive, safe ice to be found anywhere, but looking at the uh, short-term forecast, we're seeing, you know, lows overnight in the uh, teens and into the 20s, so that's definitely ice building weather, and then by day, we're getting up into the mid-30s, so some more really good ice building weather, um, really getting to this point it was just that crazy wind that we had that slowed it down over the last week but we've got enough skim ice crust of ice form so it is just going to continue to build but obviously it's still technically first ice so be extra careful when you get out there especially some of the bigger water bodies um, some of them still have a little bit of um, open water so just just take extreme extra caution uh, and last but not least got a new little feature here to close out this week's video got a little something special for you for any of the uh, uh, fluke or jig fishermen out there we got a cool little video clip to finish it off uh, from our buddy Austin Pirelli with a bit of bucktailing info for you fluke and bottom fishermen what I do here with the uh, Berkeley Fusion 19 bucktail that's brand new that just came out I know that they have a hook keeper hold your soft plastic right at the base. There's a hook keeper right there. So that will keep your Berkeley Gulp pinned on it. But in circumstances where you don't want the Berkeley Gulp, I attached a fat cow five and a half inch eel and I zip tied it. If you look right here, let me pull that hair back. You can see that zip tie right there. The zip tie was right in front of that hook keeper and I just put the, the fat cow strip that holds it in place for times when there's bluefish, and the times when there's porgies nipping away at the tail of that gulp all the time, this fat cow strip, if you, if you sent that fat cow strip, that holds it on really good, that's not gonna come off. 
All right, cool. Thanks a lot, Austin. Uh, that just about does it. Hope to see you this weekend here at the CMT Hartford Boat Show at the Mohegan Sun Casino in uh, Uncasville. Again, runs Thursday through Sunday. I'm Toby Lipinski for the New England edition of the Fisherman Magazine, wishing you tight lines if you head out onto the water this weekend.